Hello my friends in Open the Box series. Another model that I got into my hands is Yak Tiger on the Porsche chassis from Tacom, more precisely from the Blitz series. What does it mean? Nothing sensational, to be honest, compared to the models of other vehicles that Tacom offers. The Blitz series is less parts, easier to build and generally speaking, it's a weakened edition. Maybe it's not quite an accurate comparison, but that was my impression when building this model. The contents of the box are mostly standard accessories that Tacom offers in its products. The instruction is clear and I didn't encounter any doubts along the way, although the faulty moment of gluing the front plate is at the very end, so it will be unpleasant surprise for the less experienced. Decals offer three variants of painting, but none will be in the uniform dark yellow camo, which was more common than the tonal one. A small grill plate is ok and there is no need to replace it. Earlier I had already seen that there would be a problem with the front armor in this model and I was ready for it. Of course it turned out to be the biggest failure in this kit and quite intensive surgical operation was required. The hobby knife turned out to be a remedy for this problem. Besides you have to be ready for a lot of work on assembling the trucks. On the one hand it seems simple but on the other hand it will be quite difficult to build fully movable trucks. Well, unless you spend 3 days on them it's very possible that then it will be like that. Looking at the parts and their quality I can tell you that I built model from Dacom that were better made. In this model there were flashes more than once and some parts required a long cleaning or even cutting off some elements and scratch building them which was faster and as a result look better than the parts prepared by the producer. In some places even the lines of the welds weren't completely finished. But on the other hand we have a nice texture on the gun mantlet. Not too strong but visible to a large extent. So for now let's take a look at the frames.
As always, now a few additional parts that I used to build my model. First of all, I used the resin cimmerite from Attack, some details from T-Rex, Master Molo, MG42 and Panzerlauf, Eureka XXL towing cables and wooden crates, RB Molo antenna rod and upper gun barrel shackles and cleaning rods with brackets. Well, this is how the model looks like after construction. To sum up, it could be better. Thanks for watching, see you next time, cheers!